Unfortunately, Ford's inventory is getting out of hand in America. Inventory of new cars has reached a four-year high. It's the second highest point it's been in 15 years. And one automaker has, well, one automaker things are getting even worse. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Inventory in the US is rising at the same time as loan defaults are rising as well, which is a bit of a concern, especially considering um, about half of Ford's debt is automotive debt. And what that means is in good times, it's good debt because it's loan debt. But when people start to default on their loans, that's when that debt can become a problem. New vehicle inventory in the United States continued to climb in March and reached its highest point since 2020, according to Cox Automotive. Cox said inventory stood at nearly 3 million cars in its latest estimate, a 74-day supply, which is up from the month of February. A year earlier, inventory was 1.9 million. So inventory has gone from 1.9 million one year ago to 2.9 million today. In other words, inventory has ballooned. That's a 35% year over year increase. Cox said inventory varied greatly based on the sticker price. Vehicles that were priced from 30 to $40,000 had the least amount of inventory, around 59 days. The supply of vehicles priced under $20,000 was a bit longer, surprisingly, 66 days, but there aren't very many vehicles priced under $20,000. Vehicles that were priced at between sixty dollars to $80,000 had a lot of supply, and that's where the problems are. Those vehicles had 98 days of supply. Uh, yeah, you can see that's going to be an issue for some automakers, right? Among the seven automakers who report monthly sales and inventory, uh, in other words, the biggest automakers in America, Ford was the only car manufacturer with more than a two month supply of vehicles and the only automaker to report an increase in inventory from the previous month, the Automotive News Research and Data Center said. Now, here's the thing. Ford sales in the US have declined this year versus last year. Ford sales in China have declined this year versus last year. And Ford have been pausing EV sales. In particular, they have stopped manufacturing the Ford F-150 Lightning. They're saying they might start up again soon and they just slashed their prices by up to $6,000 uh, after discounting prices, I think three times before that. Ford Mustang Mach-E, they've revealed a newer, better version, but they've also decreased the price of that. If you want a Tesla, apparently they'll give you a $10,000 discount. It just sounds like it's getting a little desperate to me, simply targeting Tesla owners. Now here's the thing, the supply of light trucks is actually the worst. That's Ford's bread and butter, General Motors bread and butter, Toyota's as well in the United States. Light trucks, there are just too many of them, and they're not selling as well as they generally do. Is this going to be a big problem for Ford this year or the next few years? Well, here's why it could be. Ford say that they're going to lose $6 billion this year uh, on their EV division. So they're going to lose $6 billion on their EV division. We don't know if they're going to make a profit on their internal combustion engine vehicles. And yeah, like I said, they have about they have a hundred, about 120 billion in debt. Now, about half of that is technically good debt, but now that we're seeing record rates of defaults on loans, and the reason is because people are underwater on those loans. In other words, the value of those loans is higher than the value of the car. That could present a bit of a problem for Ford as well. Now, in my opinion, the biggest problem is this. They're gonna be disrupted. I mean, General Motors have just brought out the Silverado electric pickup truck, and it's it's significantly better than the Ford F-150 Lightning. The Cybertruck has now sold out for a, a several years. So there's huge demand for those two vehicles, I think. Rivian's R1T is now really established as a quality vehicle in the EV market. Where is Ford going to grow? I think it was with their new electric vehicles that they were working on, but they've paused that as well. Ford are being disrupted. Their inventory is piling up. It looks like they're in a bit of a precarious position right now. Thanks for watching.